Hi friends, welcome back. So let's start. Uh, in continuation to our lec last lecture, uh, in last lecture we have uh, covered our named input. Now uh, we will cover column input, which is again a very important uh, reading methodology in SAS, where we specify the exact and define the range for our variables. As, uh, as we know, we have already covered a portion where we were uh, uh, reading a data in a way, in a listening way, where we were just defining uh, the data as it was coming and we were defining the length and some other treatments to control the data. But what happens in a column input that at the initial time we decide the exact range or the length for our variables. All right? Let's see this example and understand how column input works. Let's say data and uh, my column. Column is like as uh, this uh, uh, name says, like uh, columns is like a pillars, a kind of a very fixed positions, right? So this is how it is like. So input, input, let's say my PID, my product my area and the sales cards let's say p1 and um, this is my uh, let's say high end high end machine and uh, let's say this is a department where i need it I need it in operations operations and this is my price of this product cost the cost of this product is let's say 25,000 now this is my P2 and uh, let's say this is my uh, fan I need it for reception and the cost is 1200 P3 is my let's say a uh, high graphic mother board and that is for 34,000 uh, let me mention the department I need it for um, I need it for uh, let's say any 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 name you can give um, let's say for marketing I don't know why marketing people uh, need high-end graphic motherboard okay P4 P4 is like uh, let's say I need a TV that's it a small portion TV and uh, this is for uh, uh, this is for uh, breakout area breakout area and this costs us 23,000 okay now understand this now, if you'll try to read this data with the normal list input or uh, maybe with some, uh, you know, options applied after applying some other uh, varieties in this to make it modified, what will happen even though uh, this is my first variable will go into this one. This is my second variable. The moment that you'll see after high, there is an, a delimiter. So there is no point and to go into this product field, let it be dollar, right? and this is again my character okay so this p1 will go in this one high will go in the product and end this end will go in the department number and this machine will go in the cost variable though it is a character but we define this as a numeric so uh, we will not see anything here other than the other than a period and also for this uh, we have we have to define this as a character otherwise the period will come because this is alphanumeric let's first run this and interpret this and the rest data will definitely not come in our output first let's see the output of this proc print data equal to 
column right run now see this output as I was saying P1 is okay but in product only you got high and the head uh, end thing is in department and there is nothing in cost but here you can see 1200 and something I have done wrong in my second line uh, let's go back 1200 look uh, this is for reception and fun. okay no so everything is fine so P2 fan then the department is reception and this cost is numeric that is why you can see it here in this case otherwise in most of the cases you will see some character value at the uh, time of reading cost see one two, this is machine is coming here let, let me put dollar here to make you sure that what all data is coming under every variable that's I'll show you so when I'm putting a dollar here you will see machine in this and this mother will in this and the area will come in cost uh, variable let's say this now see a machine 1200 mother and break then out yeah that's correct then break and then out now how to deal with this when we have uh, you know uh, more than the specified uh, uh, data with the diff uh, you know with with many delimiters now as we are using and try to read uh, the data with the column input so what what are the feature and advantages of column input that you define the range and under that range uh, SAS just look for that particular range whether you are filling the data up to that defined range or a very less portion of a data is there or maybe you are skipping some data there so even if you, if your data is missing SAS is uh, least bother to fetch or fill the fill the data from after pulling the data from another variable so it will leave as it is right so let me define it first so for example uh, for product I want to read this data from this uh, position so as I can uh, as I'll show you this this position so if I move my pointer this position you will see incremental change in this position right so let it be 5 for this so I have to be sure every variable position uh, should be at the same point so uh, if I'll go and check every observation the pointer will not change you will see 5 this is a fixed position so uh, this type of uh, reading methodology is very good and helpful when we receive a very you know our data with a very straight line of uh, or a very fixed uh, position uh, uh, something like this now for example let me increase this length and reading up to my data here let's say let's say this is the exact location let me prepare this data then uh, you will understand it clearly what I am trying to do here is let me give, give some more space to my product and uh, this portion or oh, basically I have to do it first this is my operation department this is my basically department look now this area is breakout area mm, is my department fair enough okay now look your data will look like this something like this so for example if you'll receive any flat file or some file where you'll see uh, you know a fixed position for every defined variable so it's very helpful and good to go with the column input so if you will see this position this is 34 for this one if I'll go down again 34 34 34 so the position position is fixed again for uh, your cost so now I have a very fixed position for everything so what I'm gonna do here is to define the very definite range for uh, almost my variable so uh, p1 is okay to go with like this 
for product i'll define my starting position which is 6 and i want to read it oh, oh i'm sorry oh, 6 and i want to read it up to um 20 this is like i want to read it up to here for this position uh, see this 33 so i'm defining it 33 here uh, and I will define uh, um, positions for department that I want to start from here which is uh, 34 and I want to read up to this position which is 51 and for cost let it be like this I am least bother for this one because uh, I cannot see any data after this so let us read this data and see how output is coming Now look how your data is coming for every variable. Oh, I think something is wrong here. Let us go back and check. Uh, we are reading it uh, from 6th position. Uh, so basically this is 5th position. See. So what I will do here, I will change this position to 5. Now go back and check the output. Nice. Now this is how our data is looking like. Everything is fine. Everything is coming under the defined variable as it was in my raw data. So P1 is high end machine which is which I need in operations, fan for reception, high graphic mother, uh, high graphic motherboard for marketing. What they will do? Strange. I need to ask the marketing team why did they need it? Anyways, so TV for a breakout area. That's fine. Understood. So now, for example, uh, if you are missing some values uh, or some, you know, uh, some observations, so how your data will be coming like this, right? So I don't have anything here. And uh, let's say you don't know where you need a TV, right? It's something like this. So if uh, we uh, uh, if, if we miss any uh, you know data other than the column input, we have to apply some treatment to specify that we are missing a data. But in a column input, uh, we are very we we should not be bother about. It's just because we have already defined the length, and when the once we define the length, so SAS is very sure that we I have to read the data under or within this range even the data has been provided or less provided or even nothing is there so let's see very expected output as we don't have anything so it is not coming here and the rest of the data is undisturbed everything as uh, is at their position now one more thing i would love to show you here uh, I want to put some data point out of the range and uh, we will interpret how the output will come in right so first let me feed the data as it was okay it was 5 okay for example this range is up to 33 so my position is like 33 right here let me increase this to show you some uh, interesting facts Now I have changed the range for uh, department that now I am going to read the data from this position which is 38. So I have to change it here. So I am putting 38 and now the end uh, limit is 55. Okay. So this is my limit. So I am setting my limits. Okay. So now it is up to 33 which is somewhere here. Right. And now I have a very you know buffer area here. So, uh, I'm gonna put some value, let's say A, at this position, let's say, let's say B here, and let's say C here, right? Let it be. So, we will see here this these value A, B, C is nowhere in my defined range. Let's start with this 5 to 33, and 33 is covering up to here see this now after this I am starting my range from 38 so let's go 
where the 38 is here it is but this a is sitting at the position 36 which is never defined in my program so are you expecting these to come so let's go back and check the output now see nothing is there in your uh, output as an a b or c interesting as uh, we can not see these uh, values coming under the range so hope you enjoyed this session and at the same time i would suggest you to go back make your uh, you know programs and do practice on different uh, uh, data sets thank you very much see you in a next lecture